just a couple of minutes ago, it's 507 right now, a, a slew of updates in less than an hour from our governor here on getting our state back to normal. WMR2 News, Eddie Kadem live in Annapolis tonight with some of the measures that the governor is eliminating and the ones he's keeping in place. Eddie, some big changes coming our way on, on Saturday from across the state. Yeah, that's right, Kelly and Jamie. Good evening. The governor announcing that all restrictions for outdoor and indoor dining and all indoor events are now lifted. So that changes from just the outdoor events. The big thing that is still included is that mask mandate. The magic number for that, the governor says, 70% of adult Marylanders. Right now, we're floating around 65%, so about 5% away from hitting that mark. This means that Camden Yards, this means M&T Bank Stadium when the Ravens start playing, this means uh, Preakness. If the city had different laws, we'd be allowed to have a different capacity, but the governor did comment on that saying that we're going to stay at 10%. That's what the Baltimore City Mayor Brandon Scott has said, even though he said for weeks they could have the Preakness at 50% capacity. The governor pointing to the numbers down, historically down since uh, September of last year, the lowest numbers since September of last year. And he says that we're just ready. We've never been this close to the end as we are right now. And he also talked about the Colonial Pipeline shutdown, something we mentioned earlier in the show, saying that he has he has uh, mobilized the Transportation Authority and given them the power to do whatever they need to do to handle any gas problems that we have, any gas outages, saying that that 11 percent numbers that the website has been putting out is inaccurate. He says that he's seeing 4 percent of uh, gas stations that are out right now also expressing confidence in Colonial's ability to get that pipeline up and running by the weekend, hoping that it won't impact our Maryland area too bad. For now, reporting in Annapolis, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News. All right.